Alright, here we go. Have a seat. Now, hold up. Phones away. Let's concentrate. Concentrate. When you look at your problem, number one. First of all. First of all, there is a balanced equation for you. Now, the balanced equation part doesn't come into play until we get to stoic, but it does help you. Like for instance, some of the problems here say potassium nitrate. And some of you with your lack of grasp of nomenclature will put PN, potassium nitrate, at 8 PN. But you'll look at the equation that I give you, and it gives you KNO3, so you can't really screw it up. You got it? So it's still helpful to you. Now, here we go. It says, how many moles of hydrogen, how many moles of hydrogen, how many moles of hydrogen, that's our question, that's our find, are in, 2.0 grams of hydrogen. That is our given. That is our given. So, over to the right, I put this, given find map. All right? Given find map. Our given then will be, 2.0 grams of H2. 2.0 grams of H2. Our find will be question mark moles of H2. And our map, we're starting at grams and we're going one step to moles. That's our map. One step process. That one step is right over here, lower left to the middle, there's two conversion factors, that's what I'm going to have to use on my one step. One of those. Alright, so here, I put my number in this box, 2.0, my unit is G for gram, and my substance is H2. This is the part kids will not do, they'll put the 2. And then after that, they're confused. Okay? Now, I want my units and substance to cancel out as I go. So because I have grams here, what do I got to put here? Grams. No! How do they cancel out? Well, you put them on the bottom. Right, someone said moles. Oh. Grams of H2 will go right here. Grams of H2 will go right there. So you have two choices down here. You have the one mole over grams, or you have the grams over one mole. I just put grams on the bottom. So what goes on the top? And how many of them? One is my number, MOL is my unit, my substance is H2. Now I don't have a number for the grams, how do I find that? On the thing, On the, thing the periodic table thing. <laughs> I stopped right now, I would have moles. Am I looking for moles? Yes. I am, so I'm good. Now I do the math. 
2 times 1 is 2. two. Divided by 2 is 1. one. So it's 1 mole of H2 is my answer. Now it gets monotonous, I know, we, you know, we just... How many grams of oxygen? Now, if it says oxygen, make sure you look at that oxygen in the balanced equation, because it's not just oxygen, what is it? O2. O2, you gotta remember that are produced by 6 moles of oxygen. So our given is right here, our find is right here. So if we fill out our little grid over here, our given is 6.0 moles of O2, our find is grand, question mark grams of O2, and our map is going to be going from moles down we're going to start at moles and we're going to go down to grams. That's what we're doing. Okay? So, up here, I always put my given, which is 6.0, unit is mole, substance is O2. If I have moles and O2 on the top, what do I need to have on the bottom of the next one? Moles of O2 on the bottom. So I'm going to put moles of O2 on the bottom. Now, I'm using one of these. I'm using one of these. Well, I'm using the one that has moles on the bottom. How many moles does it have on the bottom? One. On top, I'm going to have grams. Notice I have grams of O2. Now, where do I get that gram at? Periodic table. Oxygen is 16. How many oxygens do I have? So it's 32. Cancel as we go. Every step we want to cancel. I'm left with grams of O2, which is what I was looking for. Now I have to do the math. 6 multiplied by 32. Divided by 1, but you don't have to do that. What is it? 192. 192. So 192 is my number. Grams is my unit, and my substance is O2.